Hi, Rita. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Thanks Good. for being early. Yeah. I so can... um, do you want to just make me the meeting host? Yeah. OK. Um, but I wanted to show you before I did that, yep. um, if you if you go to participants, you see yep. your, so um, I'll just let him in. So if you go to yours, see them more, if you highlight yep. more. When you're the host, when you click more, you'll be able to make another person the co-host. Okay, it just says pin and rename. Correct. Because oh, you after, you, oh, after you make me the host, okay. Yep. All right. So okay. You have to be the host for the ability, but I just want to I see. Okay. Sure. So once I have that ability, then. Yeah. So um, I'm going to go in and make you the host. Okay. And then. I'll just close that for now. Hi, Frank. Um, hi, Frank. Um, I'm just so doing a little you... setup here. <laughs> I'm just hanging out. <laughs> okay, good. You're, you know, yeah. I got it early, so. <laughs> it's a really fun place to hang out. <laughs> <laughs> it really, fun people it, it, so amanda realman i don't know who she is i just okay so now you're going to be in charge of letting anybody everybody in okay um but i wanted so, you to do a test run why don't you go why don't you make me a co-host so i can just help you with okay okay and that way we'll know you're good to make someone else a co-host because you have you need to have one in case your system fails for any reason Okay, so it says me, if I go to more, just a spin spotlight for everyone and rename. Those are the only three choices under more. No, you go to me. Sorry, you say that again. Oh, I go to, oh, I go to you? Yeah, you go to me. So like, um, if it's going to be Linda Scott, you would go to Linda Scott's little camp. Oh, I see. Make co-host. Okay, great. Okay, yeah. great. I got it. And it's a two-step thing. So uh, it'll pop up on your screen. So then you have to confirm. Okay. All right. That sounds good. Um, I think I've got it. Are you going to actually do it? Oh, do you want me to make you the co-host? <laughs> yeah, I just want to know. Where you're okay, at. <laughs> sure. Okay, and that way, if, if you there's a lot of people, I can help you okay. for a minute or two. Okay. Oh, can there be more than one co-host? Yes, the, everybody could be a co-host. So you could I make see. Linda <clears throat> here already. So you can yeah. make the co-host and okay. then I'll say good night. Yes. All right. Great. Linda, shall I? So yeah, we're good, Becky. Yeah. So we can let Becky go. Yeah. Yes, you can go. Oh, Becky. <laughs> Take care. Good night. Have okay. A good good night. Meeting. Great, thank you. So, um, Linda, I just made you the co-host. Okay, hey, co-host. Okay. Great. Good night. Good night. All right, great. I got that all set. Just got to get my little timekeeper here. Okay. <laughs> Linda, would you be willing to take the minutes for tonight? It should be short. Yeah, I can do it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, I have to write that. I'm not, I'm on my home computer, so I'll have to, you know, I'll be handwriting them because I okay. can't, you know, type and see the screen at the meeting at the same time. So, okay. Yeah, sure. It's a brief agenda. Yes. Okay, two people. 
Um, Hi, Mateo, Michael. Thanks for the reminder, Rita. Yeah. <laughs> you were worried, huh? <laughs> and knowing that we were down at least uh, two people for one of the votes, I thought, send it out just to. Yeah. Linda, thank you for the email today. You're welcome. You're welcome, Michael. Oh, would you like me to admit people, Becky? I mean, Rita, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to this, so I, I see that it comes up. <coughs> hey, Joan. Hi, Alan. There he is. So we're just waiting on um, Henry, right? Yeah. So it's supposed to be 67 degrees tomorrow. Good thing we created that Energy and Climate Action Committee. <laughs> Too weird. It's crazy. It's like such swings. Yeah. I got ice and puddles in my yard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alan, you're muted. was can you hear me now yep mm -hmm. yep i assume alan you're gonna chair and then i'll take over when you have to well i thought you could chair the whole thing and i'll just sit here and watch <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it doesn't matter get the, it, there's, get there's, the... not, there's not much to, no. to do no. out of the votes so i did have a couple of couple of questions um but we haven't started the meeting yet, Linda. Yeah, I, well, yeah, I was going to say, let's, I had a couple of questions. Yeah. Let, let, yeah, I just thought, let's wait one more minute. It's 7.01. Well, I guess we can get started. Um, I, I didn't hear back from Henry about whether he was coming or not. So, um, so I will uh, share um, the meeting tonight. And this is, uh, today is March 17th. And this is a meeting of the Community Preservation Committee. Uh, so our agenda for this evening is um, pretty straightforward. We're gonna do minutes first, and then, um, <clears throat> excuse me, we will be looking at three recommendations, three projects um, that we will be voting on this evening for um, Community Preservation Act funding, and then, um, those recommendations will go to town meeting as, as articles on the warrant. So um, before we get started, just Linda has agreed to take minutes this evening. Um, but if folks who are not on the committee could just identify themselves. Um, uh, so Amanda, I know Rhea, Wincaller, and Frank. Amanda, um, assume you're from town. I just haven't met you before. Um, so you're there. 
I, I'm, I'm certainly here. This is Rhea Windcaller on uh, okay. Wendell, Wendell Road. I live directly across the street from um, the Julian, the now Julian Bauer. Oh, okay, so, great, great. Yeah. Well, thanks um, for joining us. And, and Frank, I know you were at the last meeting. Thank you. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> and Joan, we know you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, okay. So um, we don't, uh, unlike uh, select board meetings, we do not have any sort of co public comment period, but um, basically as we go through these um, recommendations and votes on projects, uh, what the way I'll handle it is that um, if we will have discussion amongst the CPC members and then if there are um, questions, we'll have a limited amount of time for questions from um, uh, folks who are not not on the committee, but um, from the from the public, and we did have a public hearing uh, on March six. Trying to remember March tenth. So um, and tonight the the agenda is to vote on the on the projects. Just so that you're all clear. Um, but first, we have um, minutes from a couple of meetings that we need to. Um, approve and um, the first set of minutes is from February 17th. And do I hear a motion to approve the minutes of February 17th, 2022? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Okay, is there any discussion, any um, corrections, additions, deletions to those minutes? I'm good. Okay, okay. yep. Um, okay, so all those in favor signify by saying I, and if you just say your, um, you can say your last name and I, I'll, or I'll call you Linda. Scott, I. DiChiara. I. Um, Pangalo. I. Hanson. I. Farrell, I. Okay, the second set of minutes are from March 10th, uh, which was our public hearing. And uh, do I hear a motion to approve the minutes of um, March 10th? So moved. Is there a second? <laughs> no second for the minutes of March Highly 10th. controversial meeting. Uh, I'll second. <laughs> the, Scott seconds. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, any discussion, any additions, deletions, um, changes to the minutes of the March 10th meeting? Okay. I, I have a, sorry, just, just a minor correction that uh, Kestrel is spelled incorrectly in item two. Okay, good, thanks for, yeah, it's, it's with the E. I think we had that before that happened, yep. So, so got I, that. I, I just wanna uh, ask, actually not ask a question. The, um, it, the discussion of the grant termination policy yeah. was supposed to be moved into this meeting tonight. I didn't particularly put it on, I didn't put it on the agenda because first of all, we hadn't, I hadn't heard anything. And um, it, this meeting was gonna be a little bit odd anyway. So we will right. bring, that to, we'll bring that to the next meeting. Yeah, and I haven't heard back from Donna. She owes me- um, I was gonna ask you whether you've heard yeah. something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You haven't. She, she owes me um, the revisions. So I reminded her today. Okay that I hadn't gotten them yet. Okay, so there's no point in talking about it until we hear from no. Donna. So if you don't hear from her before we have to post the uh, minutes, we'll, we'll move it to the following meeting, I guess. Yeah, yeah, we can talk, I was figuring, um, uh, well, I guess we could do it now, yeah, that that would be one of the subjects of, the, um, of our next meeting. Doing the termination policy and the town meet, the articles for town meeting warrant. Right, but we can only do the, the termination policy if we hear from Donna. Yeah, that. I'm I'm sure she'll get back to me. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, uh, okay, so um, motion's been made and seconded to approve that with, with that um, change in the spelling of Kestrel um, to approve the minutes of March 10th, 2022. All those in favor? Um, Scott? Aye. Dikara? Aye. Angalo? 
Aye. Hanson? Aye. Farrell? Aye. Okay, so um, the next item on our agenda is to go through the three projects that we presented um, that have gone through a process now with the CPC of um, determination of eligibility. Then we had the hearing um, on March 10th, the public hearing where the applicants uh, discussed and, and answered questions about their, um, their applications. Um, and tonight, what we are gonna do is vote on those uh, proposals. So- um, Rita, can I say something before you- Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I, I have a conflict of interest in the third one that we're gonna talk about, which is the R15 R lot, mainly because I, owe, I, I have property across the road from it. I had a long conversation with Grace um, a couple of days ago, and I was always under the impression that the road kind of broke up the butter issue, but it doesn't in this particular case. Um, so I'm technically in a butter to the uh, Pearson property. So I, I also talked to uh, Grace, I can vote on the first two issues. I cannot vote on the seconds. So before the second one starts, I will recuse myself and leave the meeting. We'll, so, we'll do Pe Pearson as the third one. So yeah, we'll, we'll do yeah, the first. Right. Two. That's what I was going to do if I was running yeah. it. You'll right. do the first two first, and I'll, yep. then, I'll, then I'll go away. Okay. Alan, you don't have to leave. You just don't have oh. to, you just can't participate. That's right. Um, That's I, right. The conclusion we came to it might, is it might be clearer <laughs> if I just actually left. Hmm. So I've I never heard that. that, but okay. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. I would do that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because you can just recuse yourself, right? Yeah. 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 And that's 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 what I was going to do, but yeah. It's, feel free to stay with us. <laughs> well, I I mean I I'm I'm just going on what I'm hearing, so I I'll stay if people think that's appropriate. I'm okay with it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Michael, I mean you're you probably have more. I've been recused. With this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not, not, not being recused, but you know, kind of people yeah. not not voting when yeah. something. Right. And Linda for sure has been through this. Linda yeah, too. I've I've never right. heard you have to leave. Uh, I've been okay. recused before um, with this with the CPC project, and of course that was in person, and all I did was actually leave the table and sit in the audience. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that's. I was just going to go listen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Chris All right, yeah, you go with Joan. Yeah, I will go with Joan. <laughs> okay. it'll, make me, it'll make me feel better. Okay. All right, I, uh, Ria, I see your hand up. Do you have a question? Yeah, I do have a question. Um, I'm trying to get an understanding about the March 10th meeting. I'm sorry I couldn't uh, attend that because I was uh, away on vacation. But um, so is there any kind of uh, opportunity to make like a little bit of a comment about the Kestrel Trust and and what they're pursuing here, or is that like a done deal at this point? Well, we're voting tonight, but what I think we'll do is um, we'll have a discussion on each of the proposals. And then if you want to make a comment, yeah, we could hear you out. Sure. You know, let them I'd love to. Comment. Yeah. Okay. The other thing I would uh, just, I would just chime in is that we're voting to recommend. We're not voting to approve because that's a town meeting decision. So right. not only can you vote, comment tonight but when we get to town meeting you can comment as well right that's so great is, yeah. yeah okay yeah, this is just to recommend to put the article on the town meeting warrant okay thank you i i, I will welcome. when the time comes okay okay great um all right so what i'm gonna do is um uh we'll take the historic mile guide board first then do the Ames Pond project and then um, the Pearson land acquisition just to accommodate um, Alan if he wants to step out of the room. So Rita, do you um, want a motion? Uh, well, I was just gonna, yeah, Linda, go ahead. I was just gonna remind us about the criteria. Um, 
you know, that right. we usually look over the, look at the criteria. The criteria. Say, yeah, I didn't send that out. Um, right, but everybody's got the plan, right? Yes. The CPC plan. So yeah. page yeah. 11 is the criteria, yeah. specific criteria for historic preservation. I just want to remind us that we sure. usually- Sure, yeah, okay. Okay, so no, that's great. Um, I don't have it in front of me. So Rita, do you want- we, I, I sent that out or we sent it out a while back with the notion yeah. that everybody would look at the the, the proposals in, in conjunction with the criteria, with the criteria. And come up with their vote for tonight. So right. we didn't have to go through them one by one by one by one right. during this okay. meeting. That was that was my intent anyway. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's that's fine. I yeah, that's great. I just wanted to, you know, yeah, sure. no, that's that we have I, those criteria. Yeah, right. and, and I kind of use them when I determination of eligibility too. Yeah. Right. yeah, I just so. want to make sure that we're all good with that. Yep. Yeah, okay. Um, so what Linda and Alan were referencing is that um, we have a community preservation plan that we update every year and we set forth in each of the four categories that um, for which CPA money can be used. We, um, we have, have a set of criteria that we're looking for the projects to meet in order to um, approve it. But um, as Alan has pointed out, we have been through that um, process. So um, just very briefly, I was gonna give like a minute on each of the projects. We have the restoration of the historic mile guide board, which is that structure that sits on the corner of the town common. And um, we had a request from the um, Schittsbury Historic Commission to restore that guidepost and um, to use $10,000 in CPA funds, total cost of $15,000. And um, it has to be done in conformance with um, kind of state guidelines around historic preservation. The, um, the $5,000 match is gonna come from a combination of historical commission funds and um, some fundraising. So uh, is there any discussion um, from CPC members about this? We heard quite a bit about it from um, Miriam Jafon from the Historic Commission. And um, so hearing no requests for discussion, is there a motion to approve $10,000 in CPA funds for the historic mile Guy board in the center of Shootsbury. I will move that we recommend the historic guy board restoration project um, to town meeting using $10,000 of CPA funds. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay, any um, further discussion or do we have any questions from the public? So I'll look to CPC members first and then if anybody who any of our guests who are here this evening have questions? Okay. Um, Frank, Rhea, Amanda, any of you have questions about this? I'm good. Okay. Okay, hearing, um, hearing none, then um, we'll go ahead and um, vote. So I'll just uh, call and everybody who's in favor, please signify by saying aye. Um, Linda? Scott, aye. Mateo? Aye. Alan? Aye. Michael? Aye. Farrell, aye. The um, second project that we have been looking at um, falls under, um, really, uh, well, I guess it's it's recreation, right? Did we decide it's, that that was? Um, it's, it's, right, recreation. Yes, recreation, right. right. Because when, it, when we do our, the articles for town meeting, we're, we have to say the category. Um, so the first one was the, the guide board was historic. Then under um, recreation, we have what we're calling the Ames Pond Project. And this is uh, actually a project that involves two phases. The first phase of which is to improve the parking lot and the entrance to the trails at the property that was formerly owned by um, called the Janowitz property. 
and Julian Janowitz's property down on Wendell, the dirt part of Wendell Road. And Kestrel Trust acquired um, that property and is planning um, in this first phase to do a parking area um, at the entrance there and do so and do some um, initial improvements. And then the second part of this, uh, which you know they're saying it's a total of 132,000 phase phase two, which is a later phase, will be um, creating a accessible trail to the um, waterfront there. So they will be expanding the parking area and also um, we'll be working with obviously with the Conservation Commission because we're talking about a pretty wet area and there's invasive species in that, in that entryway. So they have um, applied to the CPC and asked us to recommend $20,000 for um, these improvements. And again, uh, at the public hearing on March 10th, um, representatives from Kestrel and also um, other folks were, were there who spoke to, um, uh, spoke to this proposal. Um, so what I'd like to do is uh, see if we have, if somebody would like to make a motion to approve $20,000 for the Ames Pond project. And then if there's some questions, I will take them. I will move to <clears throat> that we recommend the Ames Pond project um, under the category of recreation using $20,000 of CPA funds. Is there a second? Uh, uh, Scott will second. Okay, so a motion's been made and seconded. So we'll have discussion now. So first I'm gonna start with um, CPC members. If any of you have any comments or the questions and then Ria, I will get to you. I see your hand raised. Okay. You guys all set? Okay, Ria? Yeah, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, I don't really have a question, but I have more of a, a long viewpoint because I've lived uh, in this spot since 1994. And in that time, I, you know, I was a close neighbor. He was my closest neighbor, Julian Janowitz. I always kind of watched the site. And I also have, um, ever since Kestrel took it over, I mowed that little parking area. I even sweep by and plow it, you know, making it Try and keep it safe for folks. So I'm I'm down with that. I you know I love the what has happened, and I also know that land pretty good because I'm here most days uh, working and seeing people come and go, and I'm all for um, making a safe parking area. You know it's kind of like a big old hole in the middle of the parking area right now. Uh, what I do know about that is just north section of that is that there's two apple trees that I've been pruning trying to bring back and actually I'd gotten permission from Julian to take down some of the towering trees over the apples and I stopped you know once uh, he passed of course uh, that's a really wet area daylilies love it it, it um, actually floods um, you know enough to create a little pond area there most springs I expect it will happen anytime soon so I'd be really in favor of, you know, clearing that up. I would even help take down some of the trees. It's always been an area uh, with Julian and the boardwalk and such that all the neighbors helped to kind of maintain that. And um, I'm not really sure, you know, other than bragging rights that we live next to what I call Shutesbury National Park, um, <laughs> what, what value the town is going to be getting from it, you know, and payback other than, um, setting up an area that's going to require even more maintenance of our road, which gets really beat up, um, much like Montague Road is a dirt road, and that area is really, really wet. It gets soggy mm -hmm. and almost impassable for us who are living here. And now with COVID, we have even more folks. So I was hoping, um, and I'm sorry I'm coming late into the game on this, but I was hoping that, yeah, you know, we could expand that area. I would even be willing to drop the trees. Um, and what I'd like to see is what the trustees of reservation does is that they have signage at Bears Den, which says there's X amount of parking spots. And if they're filled, please come back. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. because part of the beauty of this uh, incredible little spot is that people get lost out here. They're encouraged to seek it out, to find it, and not have you know the next Amethyst Brook up in Shutesbury, because I'd really hate to see that uh, this road get plow uh, not plowed, but tarred. In fact, currently, we've seen the road crew using a mix of uh, crumbled up tar that they get from other work projects mixed with sand, and that's getting put up on the upper section of Wendell Road. And it has more recently been put on the section that comes down to the new stone culvert that crosses Ames Brook there from the Kestrel's Trust to my property. So I think you know, it's prudent to kind of look at this. I know we want to encourage recreation. I'll tell you, there is recreation there. People come, um, more often than not, I'm having to direct them. I should even put on a little orange vest and say, hey, this is where you park. Don't, you know, it's a narrow road. It's a narrow road as it is. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's one of the most beautiful roads in the area. So um, I, I just would like you all to kind of consider that with that because it's, it's and, and have like a, a five-year plan, you know, expand it a little bit. And then see in five years, does it really need to be buffed up to the degree that you're looking at here? Because um, that's a, lo a lot of money, 20,000. Um, any reactions from CPC members? Questions for Rhea? Thank you, Rhea. I appreciate your, your coming. Well, I, I'd like to keep on mowing it and plowing it, but I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm well, not. I, I, um, my, my sense is, well, there will be other opportunities. I mean, this does have to be, um, you know, we just make this recommendation, but in terms of um, getting the, the work underway, Kestrel's very clear that they have to deal with the Conservation Commission um, because of the proximity to, um, to wetlands. So this will not, begin to happen until there's a thorough review of the actual work by the um, boards that have jurisdiction over this. And that is the, in this case, would be the Conservation Commission. So I think, you know, all of what you've had to say would be um, what I would recommend is both communicate with Kestrel, um, but also see the um, kind of the permitting process with the Conservation Commission um, to uh, be participate in that. And that will be after July 1st, obviously, because this gets voted at town meeting and then funds do not become available to after um, July 1. Right, I don't wanna, you know, I respect all of you and all the work you're doing, but I'm probably gonna be opposing allocating so much money to it. Um, but, you know, um, but I, sh I sure appreciate it and I love it. And I want y'all to come down and visit. And there's no room in the parking area. You're all welcome to come over and park at my home. Okay, thank you. Um, Michael, did you have a comment? Yeah, I just had two quick things. I mean, one is I think the timing is unfortunate because I, you know, we've had at least three meetings with Chris from Kestrel. So, you know, it would, be, it would have been good if she could hear that. So I do, I would agree with Rita that reaching out and talking to them directly would make sense. Um, the other part, if I remember correctly, is that there's no, it's come up in the past meetings how many spaces would be created. And Kestrel has said that they don't know because um, part of it, I believe, is DCR land and they have to have conversations with DCR. So um, there is not a, de a definitive decision about how many spaces would get created at this point. Yeah. Yeah, I was just wondering, what are they going to do with twenty thousand dollars there? I mean, it's a dirt road. Are they going to put a helicopter pad? <laughs> it's 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 not it's having living on a dirt road that I pay for the repairs on. It's not inexpensive to um, to to create and to keep up a road. So, Linda, I, I yes, would just oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I just wanted to say that um, I, I don't actually have the application in front of me, but part of the costs have to do with the um, preparing the application, the pre preparing the application for mm -hmm. the conservation commission. There's, you know, delineation of wetlands, so there's some professional services right. involved as well. I, I, I would add to that. I was going to say I have the application here. The, in terms of the CPA funds, which is really all that you know we we can address. They're asking for for the parking area about eight thousand. 
the balance, the rest of that is for the accessible trail and for the viewing platform. Mm -hmm. Thank so you, right? Mateo. It's not twenty yeah. thousand dollars for 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 parking alone. Mm -hmm. but, I, but I would also just add, also in way of clarification, um, I'm really glad to 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 hear your comments. Um, and I, I would echo what Rita said about talking to the Conservation Commission, especially as this moves forward, um, regarding your concerns and, and to Kestrel directly. You, you did mention the re, what the town gets out of this investment. Um, and I, I do want to sort of clarify that CPA funds aren't being used to purchase the land or anything like that. But this is to support this, this sort of accessibility project, really. Um, Frank, I see your hand up. Oh, Alan, wait, let me no, take no, Alan. Frank, Frank was up first. Okay, Frank. Uh, Frank, this, this is uh, Tom Seifert, Frank's husband. Oh. Hi, Tom. Hi, how you doing? Um, thank you, Ria, for saying those things you were saying. I, I wanted to underscore and support what Ria was saying. We are also a butters to the property um, right across from where that parking lot is now. And um, so we are definitely interested um, and very excited that it um, is going to be taken care of by Kestrel. So um, Ria, we know, I know the people here can also forward you that info, but we, um, I've started a conversation with Chris from Kestrel and I'm going to talk with her next Thursday on the phone and maybe Ria, I could turn that into a group conversation, I don't know. Um, one thing I wanted to share though, um, I do have another item of concern, please, for this committee's meeting tonight. Um, as you noted, uh, Kestrel will have to go through channels like the Conservation Commission and whatnot. And when they do that, they will be required to send notices of what they're doing to um, persons like me and Frank, Abutters, Abutters and Rhea and whatnot. Um, and part of the reason they have to do that, I think everybody knows is because of the heightened interest of an abutter and of the effects on an abutting property, property value-wise and whatnot. So I do have to make a humble request that the committee at least consider tonight that Alan also um, recuse himself from this vote because he and I are parties in a lawsuit at the moment. And I worry that there could be a conflict of interest if Alan votes on something that affects my property. Alan? I have no comment. Uh, okay. Does that um, mean you consider recusing or not consider recusing? I'm sorry, was, were you talking to me, Michael? Yeah, yeah. I was just wondering, uh, to push you a little bit past the no comment, are you thinking that you would consider recusing or not consider recusing? Just to give us a little direction of where you're at. I, I don't see why I should recuse myself. I mean, I, I'm a member of this committee and this has nothing to do with anything I own or, or okay. affected by. I think Massachusetts, I think it's 268A or 286A, pardon me for not knowing the number of the, um, the MGL chapter that addresses um, ethics conflicts and conflicts of interests for public officials. But I'm rather certain that if um, an official is involved in a lawsuit with a citizen um, about whose property that official can vote, the official would um, recuse themselves if it didn't mean that no vote could take place or things like that. It's, it's usually the conflict of interest is mostly about financial benefit, but I mean, I would, it seems like we well, can- Well, I just mentioned this would affect property value. Oh, it would, okay. So, I mean, we can we can decide on it without Alan. I mean, there's I, a quorum. I know you can, yes. Yeah, That's no, nice. I, was, I wasn't talking to you. Oh, guys. okay, thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's a little right. hard on Zoom. You didn't see my head pointing to Rita. I agree. I <laughs> so I'll mute myself. Yeah, I I gotta say I don't know um, the conflict of interest law well enough, um, Tom, to opine on whether Alan should be recusing himself or not. Well, um, to, to make things easy, I will recuse myself in this, in this vote. I, I just wish to state that, that you know this sounds like rebuttal. I mean, a, 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 
Never mind. I will recuse myself. Yeah. Oh, okay. I will not vote on this matter. Okay. Um, so, Rhea, if you and Tom and, and Frank um, then can maybe collaborate on speaking with Kestrel, that would be great. Um, this is Michael pointed out, you know, this will be coming before town meeting. So, um, and if you haven't seen the application, one of us could forward it to you. Um, we should get it on the web page. It on the once, website, it's on the web page. It's it's all there. Okay. I don't know if it's there, but once we approve it tonight, we can do that. Okay. So you could see the complete application with all the details and. Um, I have not been able to find it. Yeah, it's okay. not there yet. I, I think. Yeah, Michael, Michael is our. Um, takes care of our webpage as a volunteer. And so, yeah, Michael, if you could get that posted yep. um, after this meeting, then you can all see the budget. And I apologize, I didn't have it in front of me this evening. Um, that'd be great, Rita. I'll do that and I'll follow okay. up with Kestra. I really appreciate it. And Michael, if you okay. could post that, that'd be awesome. I'd love to see the application. I'm, I'm sorry, do. again, I'm so late to the game on this because yeah. obviously I have a lot of two cents about it. And <laughs> only for the good of Shootsbury. Yeah, no, it's great. Okay, now we we um, like having people <laughs> join in and give it their opinion. So that's great. Good to see you here. Um, okay, so we have a motion has been made and seconded and I don't think the motion was made or seconded by Alan. Is that correct? Correct. It was uh, Michael and I. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, so then we don't have to, um, so. Uh, any further discussion? All right, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Linda? Scott? Aye. Mangalo? Aye. Dikiara? Aye. Carol? Aye. All right, great. I want you to say recuses. Yeah. Uh, Hanson? I recuse myself. Okay. Okay, um, so the last um, project that we are going to consider tonight is the um, Pearson Land Acquisition, also known as Lot R15. And this is a parcel of land that is um, on Pelham Hill Road and has been identified by the Kendall Land Trust um, as a appropriate for um, conservation and the recommendation came from the Conservation Commission who joined um, with Kestrel and the total project cost is $301,400. Um, the CPA request is $50,000. So Kestrel will be using a combination of some federal funds that they have available as well as some funds that have been made available um, by the Conservation Commission. And um, as you heard earlier, Alan owns property across the street from this property. So he is recusing himself from the vote um, this evening. So again, it's $50,000 in CPA funds. Um, the, uh, you know, one of the conditions will be an appraisal of um, the property to make sure that nobody's overpaying for this. And um, that 301, $1,400 um, cost includes both um, the acquisition plus what we call soft costs associated with the, um, with the acquisition. So um, that includes the appraisal and, and a number of survey, a number of other um, costs. And we will also make sure that this gets posted on the website. And so it, and those applications include both a description of the project and also a um, project budget. So questions from uh, CPC? Well, as promised, I'm going to back off of the meeting and I'll, I'm going to leave. So okay. good night, everyone. Okay, good night, Alan. Hi, Alan. Thank you. I do have one question, Rita. So yeah. it's, they're asking for $50,000 in CPA funds and on the application, it looks like it's open space and recreation. So well, it yeah, it was right. So it should be open space and recreation um, because the recreation part of it is the parking. We had asked them to 
and that's not an open, an eligible open space. Yeah. Um, so it's actually under comes under the two categories, but oddly within CP, CPA funding, um, there are really only three categories, which was historic, community housing, open space recreation is one category. So, you know, it's a little bit of <laughs> so play we, on we, words or whatever, uh, because yeah, we, but we're gonna designate that parking area uh, that they'll do um, as recreation. Right, so that's the $5,000. $5,000, right. So when we make the motion, should we get uh, sort of differentiate? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's five thousand so for which one? Five thousand for recreation. And and Forty-five for forty-five thousand in open space. Okay, cool. Okay, so do I hear a motion to um, approve uh, allocation of five thousand dollars in CPA? CPA recreation funds and $45,000 in CPA open space funds for the Pearson land acquisition, also known as lot R15. I, you did such a good job. I'll just say so moved. <laughs> I figured I'd do your work for you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, all right, I guess I made the motion. Do I no, get no, a second? No. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I said so move, but I'm willing to second Oh, it. you did, okay. Yeah, that's fine. That. Okay, do I hear a second? I second. Thanks, Mateo. Okay, any um, further discussion? Are there any questions from um, anybody who's, any, in the, anybody in the public? Okay, um, all right. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Linda? Scott, aye. Michael? Aye. Mateo? Aye. Farrell, aye. Okay, so that concludes the review of projects. Um, what I wanna uh, just mentioned, Alan mentioned it earlier. So I'm um, awaiting the language on the um, our termination policy. And I don't, I can't remember if I told you when I spoke with Donna about the termination policy, I also forwarded to her the um, grant agreement that we had used um, for Habitat for Humanity. And she wanted to change the language. So because I wanted to make sure they were consistent because we had this grant agreement, had the termination policy. And when Donna reviewed the grant agreement, which I thought she had already reviewed at some point, she wanted to change the language in that. So it was kind of good that we were doing this because otherwise we would have just used, continued to use that grant agreement. Um, so that's, that's where we are. She's both um, revising the language in the grant agreement, which then we will reflect in our policy statement, um, or, you know, when we adopt the policy. Uh, and I had also said that I wanted to make sure that we had a, um, an intra-municipal grant agreement, which would be, um, you know, contain the necessary language too. So that's what I'm, that's what we're waiting on. So that is one item for, um, the agenda for our next meeting. And then we need to prepare the warrant articles and um, approve the warrant articles that will go on the annual town meeting warrant. There are, I believe three articles that are kind of, we do every year, um, which just talks about the allocation of the money. It's kind of you know standard operating procedure. Um, so we'll have those, then we will have the three articles for the um, projects that we approved this evening. And then the last article that I think we have to prepare is we've had a request from the Recreation Committee to um, move the site of the community garden from behind Town Hall to lot 032. Uh -huh. And our original vote said, when we approved the money for the town community right. garden, um, we said it was gonna be located at the town hall. So that has to be um, voted on um, again, the change in location. So what we do at that meeting is do those 
all of those articles and the termination policy. And I'm, I know Alan's back with us. Uh, I don't, was there anything else, Alan, that? Um... Um, no, I think that covered it all, Rita. I was, I was gonna talk to you actually um, offline about um, that in a relationship to the, the um, I'll, I'll talk to you about it. Okay. Uh, I think that covers everything as far as I know. Serena, so based on all the stuff that you said, the only comment I have, which I think we should be fine, but we should have an approved termination policy in place by the time we're ready to sign the new agreements for these three, yes. assuming they get approved. Yes. Yeah. So that's our goal because we won't yeah, we, we won't sign any agreements until after town meeting and stuff doesn't go into effect. Money's not available till after July one. So yeah, but we want to keep moving. We want to get that done, um, and I I want to make sure that the that the grant agreement, both the intra-municipal one, um, so two of the three projects we're discussing tonight are um, with, the, with the Kestrel Trust. So that's, they'll get the full fledged grant agreement. And then what we have used, the, the other thing is when it's intra-municipal, meaning one municipal department or committee um, like the CPC and town meeting dealing with, you know, another town committee. Um, we don't need kind of some of the, you know, it can be a simpler agreement because it's not an outside organization. So Don has been, Donna had, had a number of comments. So um, I just want to make, I, I just asked her to draft the language <laughs> rather than me try to do it. Um, I'm presuming, but... Uh, as a guess, will, will you, Rita, and Linda work on the warrant article language since some of that's boilerplate so anyway? Before, before, yes, yeah, Bef to, to bring to the committee to approve yeah. it. Yeah, a look at previous, yeah, and Alan too. We just look at Okay, previous. so if you're going to do that, my, the, the question I was going to talk to you about was whether the wording was consistent with what the select board wanted. But if you're going to do it, you would know that, so. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> 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 Let me say, I assume you would. No guarantees. <laughs> no, what I what I'd look at, I'd look at previous, um, you know, what we did on previous warrants. Just yeah, they're pretty sure. straightforward. <laughs> yes. I mean, no. And and also we, you know, after we do it, it's all reviewed by town council. So, um, okay. Linda, right. did you have a comment? Yeah. So I just um, our next meeting, if we go by the third Thursday, is the twenty first of April, and. A little late. I'm wondering if that is adequate time, you know, to have our, do our articles and our warrant articles and have them into the warrant. Um, yeah. Because that's just. Uh, so what is the date? It's the 21st? The 21st, we, you know, which is. Right. Um, Thursday. Yeah. And the select month, word. A month before. Five weeks. Um, right. right. So I. You know, I had checked in with um, Becky just about the the warrant, and you know, we were looking at the um, at the April twenty sixth meeting, probably for doing the um, you know have, finalizing the warrant. Mm -hmm. So um, the twenty first would probably be okay. I mean, I'd feel better if we moved it up a little bit, but uh, I don't know what everybody else's schedule allows. Um, I think the week before, oh no, well, Mateo, you have younger kids, right? Yep. So you might know this. I think school vacation, school week, vacation is week is the week of the 18th. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I, said. I, I can do either of those Thursdays. We're not. Uh, yeah. Fine. I guess let's, let's leave it at the 21st and I will, um, you know, Donna's going to look at stuff after the 20, 26th. So um, okay. I guess I'm comfortable okay. with that. And the 14th okay. doesn't work for me either. Okay. Is town meeting May 21st? May, yeah. Town meeting is May 21st. Okay. <coughs> so our next meeting will be um, April 21st. April 21st, correct. Okay. Okay. I think that's plenty of time. Yeah. These are not hard to write. Right. Can I ask a question on another subject? Sure. Um, 
regarding the email from Evan Johnson in Worthington on March 15th. Oh, did, yeah. That, I wrote back. I did write back to him. All right. I wasn't sure if that was something we had to handle or. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, this was somebody from Worthington was asking, they're looking to adopt CPA and they, um, so I, uh, I responded, sent the link to our um, webpage and also directed him to the Community Preservation Coalition, which has like oodles of information, you know, for towns that want to um, adopt CPA. It's just a tremendous resource. Yeah. And if See, you have a spare, I to him before I did, but I, I sent an email. <laughs> I sent an email today saying that if he still has questions, to keep us both posted. So right. Yeah. I wish him luck. Yeah. Um, okay. Any other um, questions, comments? So we're set for the twenty first. We'll get everything out in advance. Try to have all the articles drafted so that. Um, We'll just be not creating them that night, but rather just reviewing them for content accuracy. And um, and we'll make sure I'll make sure that um, that I get this the pol termination policy information back from Donna, and also send that out in advance. Um, so, so Rita, why don't I? I'll try to come up with drafts for the drafts for the uh, warrant articles. Okay, great. Next week or so, and I'll send them okay. to you first to look at, and Michael. Well, I'll okay. send them to everybody to look at, and then we can make changes, and then we'll be all set. I think. Okay, great. great. And I got all one right. one last administrative thing. Can I don't know, Linda? Would you mind sending me your what do you think of the definitive, most recent proposals? So I mean, I've got them. The numbers seem to match, but there's a couple of, like I know Chris sent an updated version. I just oh, want to make sure okay. what I post is accurate. Okay. Great. Okay, so do I hear a motion to adjourn? <laughs> no. <laughs> Hang on for a second. You know me. <laughs> I, just, I just flung some pages, papers on the, anyway. Okay. Okay. I'm ready now. Okay. So moved. Um, right. Is there a second? Second. Okay. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Linda? Aye. Oh. Scott, aye. With say, oh, we got your eye. <laughs> aye, <please>. Michael. Aye. <laughs> You're not anxious or anything, right? <laughs> I'm going downstairs, so. <laughs> Hansen. Aye. Farrell, aye. Okay, thanks everybody. And thanks to all of our um, guests for joining us this evening. Thank you. Good to see you. Okay, good night. <laughs>